Okay, now we're going to want to animate this nicely around the earth. Basically, we're really looking at the tip here because that's the part that's going to be revealed and we're really keen to work out, work out how that's going to look. Now I'm going to go over here and double click on this and make it into a 3D path. The reason I'm going to do this is when you have, when we start going around, you'll be able to edit the trajectory of this, which will make it really easy to fit it to the S. So, go to our first frame, hit F6, because that's where we want it to start, and now it's a keyframe. We'll go to our tenth frame, and we now want it to be up here. So we've turned, go to our twentieth frame, and we want it to mark up with this. That's why I put these guides in. It's going to make it you know, nice and simple for us to just pick out the right points. As you can see, I'm just going to go around. And do this every 10 frames. And I remember I'm rotating here as well. Just to get that sort of... You're really looking what the tip's going to look like down here. And now if you look at this, it's not really going to be smoothly down the middle. You see it sort of waving from left to right. If you press Shift F11, you can see this trajectory. And this clearly isn't the sort of shape that we'd like. So I'm just going to go through and add some keyframes at some key points in between. So one there, one here. This part here, we're probably going to need two. And I'll go two for the next one as well. And the section here, I'll probably put two in as two. And definitely two here. Now you can double click on these to grab them and just. Now, if you haven't, if you hadn't changed your this drawing to the three D path, you wouldn't be able to do this. So I'm just trying to keep these little lines equal because they represent the frames. So we can sort of get a smooth line. I'm trying to make it look sort of, you know, so it sort of goes down the middle of the earth. I mean, it isn't, you don't need to be perfect, but this will just make your animation look, you know, considerably better. Let's just move this one in a little. And now, you can see, follows around perfectly. Now what we are going to have here is you're going to see I don't really want this overlapping our S here because that will cut that off. So I'll sort of go back and we'll look. Here it's not a problem but this frame and this frame it is a problem. So here I'll go right click on it and I'll insert keyframe and duplicate drawing. We'll do the same thing for our last frame. You could also do this up in the insert, no, not in the insert. Well, you can do it in one of the menus, but I've forgotten whereabouts in the menu you can actually do it. So I'll just leave that for now. Oh, here it is, it's an insert, keyframe and duplicate drawing. So now these last two, because they aren't quite what we want, I'm just going to grab the eraser and make this fairly big. And I'm just going to try and... that's not big enough. I like probably twice that size. On top of this drawing, I'm just going to... get rid of any of the overlapping parts. And now when it hits, it just disappears, which is great. So next, we're going to want to go 
for our actual background layer. So we'll lock down all of them for their backgrounds. And we're going to be wanting to add the rest of the mask on this layer. I'm going to do this in black and we're going to grab our and leave this probably left about the same size. I'm probably going to make it bigger than that. And so basically I'm just going to go around the S and just block it out. Simple as that. And I'll probably extend this sort of No, we don't want to go that far. We want to go just to that point. So we'll empty out these rungs from here. So what I've done is I've gone along and left it until the point where this blue one's about to reveal the black. And here we need to draw another one and just just try it a bit further back so we don't have to draw as many of these. Once again, let's have a look at just sort of guessing here. Probably that's the point. So next frame on. And again, on this frame we're just going to and we're just going to repeat this process until you know we've got the whole thing covered. And that looks good, so we'll go. I mean, I'm just sort of. It doesn't really matter how close you get, so long as all of the rest of this S is just covered. I actually don't like how this looks here. I want to just, so I'm going to grab this and unlock our tip mask. I'm going to rotate it a little bit more. So let's have a look at that. Uh, I'm going to fill this one up too. Here we go. That looks much better. So now I'll continue on our way. I'm probably just going to. Now I'll just finish this. It'll only take a second. This is basically just covering the rest of the S. It's a very repeat, repetitive process, but it's just something that needs to be done. And you've almost finished your effect once you've done this. So I'm just going to pause now and I'll just finish this last bit and we'll come back and finish off the effect. 